Hello everyone. My name is Shruti Gowda and I am going to present our paper A Comprehensive Study of Real-Time Object Detection Networks Across Multiple Domains, a survey. This is a joint work with Elahe Arani, Ratnajit Mukherjee, Omar Magdi, Sentil Kumar Khachresan and Bahram Zunus. Recent advancements in deep neural networks have led to remarkable breakthroughs in the field of object detection. Object detection combines both classification and localization and is used in multiple applications such as autonomous driving systems, surveillance, robotics and healthcare. As newer detectors are being proposed frequently, without a standard evaluation framework, the trend is moving more towards a short-sighted direction that focuses only on nominal improvements. The emphasis is more on accuracy and speed, while the other network capabilities such as energy efficiency, resource consumption, robustness and reliability are omitted. Further, the lack of a standard evaluation framework and ambiguity in the parameters used makes reproducibility and fair comparisons challenging. Another key drawback is the lack of performance data on edge or embedded devices, making it challenging to choose networks for real-time deployment. Thus, the field of object detection faces challenges due to the absence of a standard reference for comparing existing detectors and also a guideline for creating and evaluating new ones. To address these challenges, it is necessary to establish a comprehensive reference benchmark and a standardized evaluation guideline. This will ensure uniformity, transparency and fairness in the evaluation process. Furthermore, evaluations on embedded hardware are crucial for determining the real-time de deployment capabilities of object detection networks. Hence, we conduct a comprehensive study on real-time object detection networks on various datasets. In addition to accuracy and inference time, we evaluate the resource and energy consumption of each model to estimate the environmental impact. The study decouples the effects of different variables such as image size, anchor size, confidence threshold, and architecture design types. An extensive robustness analysis is conducted to analyze the robustness of the networks against natural corruptions and adversarial attacks. The calibration scores are reported and quantifies the measure of uncertainty in all the predictions. To highlight the feasibility of real-time deployment, we deploy the optimized models on embedded hardware and report the performances on these low-power edge devices. Finally, to demonstrate the real-world impact, we conduct two exclusive case studies on autonomous driving and healthcare domain. These cover two diverse domains having different requirements and thus our case studies offer a unique perspective to look beyond the standard benchmarks and assess the capability of the detectors on varying datasets that are more relevant and applicable in these real-time applications. All the networks, uh, datasets, and hardware used in the study are summarized in this table. Our study covers eight different detectors, including two stage, single stage, and transformer based detectors. We also use nine diverse backbones. The evaluation is performed on a range of datasets, including the standard VOC and COCO as well as the autonomous driving relevant datasets such as BDD and Cityscapes and the medical dataset K. Vasir said. This table provides a comprehensive overview of the architecture and components of each detector. The architectures include a combination of vanilla convolution layers and other components such as deformable convolution layers, depthwise convolution and transposed convolution layers. While some networks use the IOU-based NMS, 
Others use the much faster max pool operation on heat maps as the NMS operation. The key results of our study are presented in this graph. Here, we report eight metrics, namely accuracy, adversarial robustness, calibration error, energy, MAC or the multiply accumulate operations, number of parameters, speed, and robustness against natural corruptions. This plot is represented such that the ideal network should occupy the whole octagon and such a network has the highest accuracy, robustness, and speed and also has the lowest number of parameters, MAC count, lowest energy consumption, and is also the best calibrated. Some inferences from the figure are as follows. Nanodebt reaches the highest point on most of these vertices and hence is a contender for applications that need to be run on low power devices with high speed and accuracy. Sentinet has the highest robustness to adversarial attacks. It is the second fastest and also lies in the good spectrum on all other metrics. DDR, which is the transformer based detector, is the second best in terms of adversarial robustness but has the lowest calibra calibration score, thus implying less reliable predictions. FCOS has the highest accuracy and robustness but falters in other metrics. Thundernet, which is a two stage detector and was designed for mobile devices, is efficient in resources but falls short in accuracy and is one of the slowest networks. This graph showcases the speed, accuracy, and parameter trade-off for all the detection heads and backbone combinations, that is 72 combinations. The size of each bubble indicates the number of parameters in the network. Among the ba backbones, WovNet 39 and HardNet 68 consistently achieve high accuracy across all the heads, while ResNet 18 and DarkNet 19 and DEIT are the fastest and also have top accuracies. Thus, they facilitate a good trade-off between accuracy and speed. Amongst the heads, NanoDet and CenterNet achieve high accuracy and speed and they are the single stage key point based methods and hence do not have the hassle of defining anchor sizes nor do they have the IOU based NMS operations. Among the resources, FCOS is heavier than as others as it has an additional centerness branch in its architecture. ResNet and DarkNet are more efficient among all the other backbones. To further demonstrate the relationship between different metrics, we report the Pearson correlation between all the metrics in this figure. Accuracy is positively correlated with all the other metrics, with F1 score being the highest and GMAC being the second highest correlated. Inference speed is negatively correlated with the inference energy. Also, energy has the highest positive correlation with GMAC, indicating that networks with more MAC operations tend to consume more energy. In the next three slides, we decouple different variables and show the effect of each of them on the performances. First is the effect of image sizes. Here, we report graphs on four different image sizes from 256 to 736. And the figure demonstrates that the accuracy across the detection heads follow a trend of diminishing returns. In most cases, there is a significant accuracy jump from 256 to 384 image resolution. However, the gain decreases as the image sizes increase further.
Further, we observed that the gain in accuracy for higher image sizes is masked by a bigger decline in the inference speed. Thus, as image size increases, the gain in accuracy is masked by the decline in speed. Second, we show the sensitivity of the networks to different anchor sizes. Out of the eight detection heads in our study, SSD, YOLO and ThunderNet use the anchor-based approach for detection. We modify the anchor sizes to record its effect on the performance. Here we observe that the change in accuracy at anchors of different sizes follows a random pattern and there is no correlation between them. The non-deterministic way the anchor boy sizes affects the detection proves that modifying anchors to improve detection is not a simple and straightforward task. Third, we examine the role of the confidence threshold parameter. As seen, we observe there is a trade-off between accuracy and speed as we vary the confidence threshold. That is, a higher threshold results in a lower accuracy and higher speed, while a lower threshold results in higher accuracy and a slower model. Thus, this analysis aims to encourage the use of a standard evaluation pipeline and also reporting of all parameters used to ensure reproducibility. Lastly, we study the effect of a particular architecture layer type. Centernet and TTFnet detectors use deformable convolution layers in their architectures. The benchmarks that use DCN layer focuses more on the accuracy gains and do not report any other metric. Hence, to study the effect of DCN on other metrics, we report accuracy, speed, number of parameters, and energy consumed when using a network with and without DCN layer. We observe that using, using DCN improves accuracy, but the speed and energy efficiency decreases. Thus, there is a trade-off to consider when implementing new convolution layers or designs into the neural network architecture. Most works focus on improving only the predictive accuracy of the networks, but it is essential to also measure the uncertainty of the predictions and measure the calibration scores of the networks to know the reliability of the predictions. These graphs represent the reliability diagrams. They visually represent the model calibration where accuracy is plotted as a function of confidence. All the key point based methods are represented in the second row, such as CenterNet, TTFNet, FCOS, and NanoDet, are leaning more towards being underconfident and are more cautious about their predictions. Whereas transformer based DTR and two stage based detector ThunderNet are highly overconfident and hence can be undesirable in safety critical applications. Among all the detectors, SSD remains the most well calibrated. Object detectors used in real time applications need to be consistent in their predictions and robust to various factors such as changing weather conditions, lighting, and various other imaging digital effects. The graphs show the performance of each detector on the COCO data set when corrupted with 15 different types of corrections. These corruptions are categorized into four main categories, noise, blur, weather, and digital effects. On noise, blur, and digital, the network shows relatively steeper decline in performance compared to the weather corruptions. Among all the corruption categories, FCOS is the most robust, while YOLO is the least robust. Overall, key point based detectors are relatively more robust to the natural corruptions than the other detections. Deep neural networks are shown to be vulnerable to adversarial attacks. In safety critical applications such as autonomous driving, robustness is of the most importance to prevent networks from making untimely decisions. Hence, Robustness against adversarial attacks is a critical metric for object detection. 
we perform the projected gradient descent or the PGD attack at varying attack strengths, which is represented by epsilon, and report the resulting accuracy in the figure. The accuracy at epsilon equal to zero refers to the clean accuracy on the original test set. As seen, as the strength increases, the performance declines for all the detectors. Sentinet and DETR exhibit consistent and better robustness compared to all the other detectors. FCOS has the highest natural accuracy and shows good resistance to the very weak attacks, but the performance sharply declines for higher perturbations. Two exclusive case studies are presented in this study. First is on autonomous driving. Real-time object detection is highly pertinent in the autonomous driving domain where the network needs to learn and predict various objects such as pedestrians, vehicles, and road signs present on the road. We conduct a realistic case study for autonomous driving using BDD dataset, which is one of the largest and most diverse datasets in this domain. The networks when deployed in real-life applications need to adapt to unseen data and perform consistently. Hence, we perform the out of distribution or the OOD generalization by using the models trained on BDD to test on a different data set, here which we consider the cityscapes data set. As seen, Nanoret has the best accuracy, Sentinet is the fastest network and SSD is the most energy efficient in both the data sets. Autonomous driving applications have power and resource constraints as the networks are deployed on the onboard edge devices. The real time performance of detection networks on low power devices is paramount to their efficacy. For deployment, we use the TensorRT library to convert the networks into optimized high performance inference engines. These engines are then tested on three different ranges of GPUs by NVIDIA. First is the 2080 Ti, a commonly used desktop GPU. Second is the Jetson Xavier, a powerful mobile GPU. And third is the Jetson TX2, a low power mobile GPU. The table shows the inference speed of all the eight detectors for three precision modes, that is FP32, FP16, and INT8. The performance trend might not be the same as seen earlier as it depends on the optimization of different layers. The optimization fuses subsequent layers and makes the computational parallel to each other. The anchor-based detectors ThunderNet, YOLO, and SSD have relatively simple architectures and hence achieve the highest gain in speed after optimization. This benchmark proves useful when choosing models to deploy on edge devices for real-time autonomous driving applications. The second case study is in the healthcare domain. AI models assist in reducing cost and resources while assisting surgeons and radiologists in diagnosing and treating many diseases. One of the applications considered is while using deep neural networks to detect cancerous polyps in medical images. These medical images have a different distribution than the standard datasets. Hence, standard benchmarks and metrics from COCO and VOC might not suffice to choose a network for this particular application. In standard benchmarks, a precision metric is more focused for accuracy. However, in medical imaging, where even one false negative can cause more damage than false positives, Recall is a much more relevant metric. Hence, we report the recall metric along with the precision accuracy metric for this medical image in dataset K Basir said. From the table, FCOS has the highest recall. It's also important to note that YOLO might not have the highest precision but fares well on the recall metric. Hence, different applications can have different relevant metrics. Finally, to conclude, we summarize our contributions. 
we provide a holistic and comprehensive analysis of deep learning based real time object detection networks covering multiple datasets and domains within a consistent evaluation framework we emphasize on the significance of various metrics and also highlight the need for standardized transparent and fair evaluation methods we aim to act as a guideline for the industrial community to assess the different trade offs while choosing detectors for the specific application we also aim to encourage the research community to consider a much broader perspective while designing and evaluating newer detectors thank you